We're Jimmy and Natalie, and last week we celebrated our first Canada Day in Banff. How's that look? <laughs> uh, it's interesting. This week we're exploring some beautiful glacial lakes inside the National Park, starting with Lake Louise. Good morning. We are really excited for what we have planned today. We're gonna go to Lake Louise. It gets super, super busy here in the summer, so we woke up really early to try and hopefully beat the crowds and get our own parking spot. I don't want to say we're behind schedule, but sunrise is in like 20 minutes and it's already getting a little bright out here. I don't think we're the only people who had this idea. The first shuttle hasn't even started going yet. The first lookout was a little too busy for us. We were there for sunrise, so we were there for a good 30 minutes, and it filled out fast. So we're gonna hike to a second lookout. It's still pretty well known, but I'm hoping since it's still so early, no one's gonna be there. This way. Oh, my bad. <laughs> that's the hope, at least. We saw a grizzly here a couple of days ago. That's a wow, brown Wow, that's bear. a brown bear. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we went out and we bought some bear spray, and we are fully equipped. Is that the right side? Nope, that's the wrong side. Wrong side. All right, we got some bear spray. <laughs> so we are fully ready for an encounter, but we're really gonna try to avoid one. We heard that uh, bear bells do not work. We heard that from the ranger, so it seems like a good source. But you're supposed to try and make some noise while you're hiking, especially early in the morning out on these trails. Mr. Bear, stay away. <laughs> Two tasty looking humans coming through. <laughs> We're trying to make noise, but it was really hard through our panting. Didn't really put it together that this trail is completely uphill. I kind of thought it would just lead back to the water. It does not. Oh my goodness. I definitely would not say that I regret where we chose to watch the sunrise this morning, but I'm glad that we came here soon after. There's a nice view of the hotel down at the bottom. We checked and it's like $1,200 a night to get a room, so we will be staying in our van, but it's a beautiful hotel right on Lake Louise, and I, I feel like it would be so fun to stay there. So we sort of promised ourselves that we wouldn't come back here and make pancakes until we got in Lake Louise. If you remember a couple weeks ago, we might or might not have put that on our bucket list. What she doesn't know is we're gonna go in Lake Louise when we get to Banff. What? <laughs> and we're here. So I feel like we have to do it. To be honest, I feel like there's still like a 50-50 chance if we're even gonna get in because it is very, very cold. We both woke up at 4 a.m. and put our swimsuits on under our clothes though. So if at any point we get a surge of bravery, we're gonna do it. So again, 50-50. So also on our bucket list, we've been wanting to try real maple syrup uh, made in Canada. So we got this when we were with our friend Adam. Like, no, 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 we're not getting that stuff. <laughs> this is no good. That's a good stuff right there. We were gonna make pancakes when we were with him, but it just never actually panned out, so... Sorry, Adam. <laughs> this is Sweet Ontario Pure Maple Syrup. It's organic from Agua Bay. Product of Canada. This is as real as it gets. And I just want to chime in and say, we've done pancakes in pancake a few times, but that's always been pre-made mix. But this time, to try the real maple syrup, we got real pancake mix from a touristy store, but it was made in Canada. I just realized I'm following the directions to make 10 to 11 pancakes. Oh my God. How did that happen? 
Uh, well, okay, we're using eggs and it needs one large egg, so this is the smallest increment you could make. <laughs> All right, I'm really putting the cake and pancake in this one. It's so thick. It's very thick. Are you gonna flip it? I don't know, should I? I don't know, it weighs like four pounds. It's really big. <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna drop this. Oh! Whoa! Every time! Every time. I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous. Oh. 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 All right, that's oh. a little burn. <laughs> Whoops. Wow. My bad, Matt. <laughs> right, that'll be mine. Oh my gosh. All right, that is huge. It literally doesn't fit on the plate. I still don't know how you managed to turn 11 pancakes into two. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot easier than you would think. This looks kind of messy to pour. Real Ontario maple syrup. Okay, that's probably plenty. <laughs> that is plenty. <laughs> Oof. My pancake turned out great. Oh. I'll share some with you. That's very sweet. It's a lot thinner than the syrup we usually get in the States, and it's sweeter. It's really good. I think the syrup we usually get tastes like sugar. This tastes like maple and sugar. <laughs> Little dipping zone right there. And then uh, I think I'm just going to go for the dip. Oh my god, that is so bad. <laughs> It's hard to get past the burnt pancake, oh. but the maple syrup's really good. All right, I think this is about as far as we're gonna make it on these. We did the math and I'm pretty sure I've got about eight pancakes worth of pancake mix in mine and she's got about four or five. We made it about halfway. <laughs> I still don't know for sure whether it was the sugar in our pancakes or just the magic of Lake Louise, but something gave us the surge of courage we needed to head back out to the lake again, and this time we brought our towels. I want to point out, it is not the weather for this. Super warm. Now to check that it was recording. It feels good now. We have done three cold plunges in preparation for this. I kind of thought I was gonna die for like 10 seconds. I always thought that this was like the end all be all of cold plunges, but I think we might have just started a new thing that we're really into because it's very exhilarating. Yeah, or never again. Or never again. I think if we can do that, we can do anything. I'm riding on such a high right now. I. There was a 2% chance we were gonna do this. I lied to the camera when I said 50-50. That was <laughs> way too optimistic. We did it. So we didn't actually come here just to see Lake Louise. There is another lake really close by called Moraine Lake and it is about 10 kilometers away, all uphill. But thankfully we have e-bikes, so it shouldn't be a problem for us. Taking a little pit stop on the side of the road. It's just us and the shuttle buses that are allowed on this road. So we're trying to be courteous and we pull over every time we see a bus coming and so that they can pass us and we don't slow them up. Because it is so closed off to people, you do have to be a bit more bear aware. So we've got our spray on us, I think. Yeah, it's yeah. there. We got our spray on us, so we're keeping a keen eye, but we should be okay. And there is nothing like passing a couple of people on regular bikes while we have our e-bikes going 20 miles an hour straight up a mountain. 
I feel bad for those guys, but they're getting a workout in today. I just have to remind myself as we pass them, they chose to do this, they find this fun. <laughs> I don't get it, but. <laughs> A picture of this exact lake is on the back of the Canadian $20 bill. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's really neat. All right, it really, really stinks down here for some reason, but we got to touch the water. We're not doing another cold plunge, but we're at least going to touch it. Pretty cold. Gosh, that would be so fun to climb that. I read on a sign that people actually do. It's called the Tower of Babel. That's where we're going. I can't believe it, but I think this actually looks prettier than Lake Louise. The lake is a lot smaller itself, but it just makes the cliffs look massive. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It can't get better than this. This looks pretty cool. <laughs> this understatement of the year. All right, well, this is the hardest decision we ever had to make but I think we're gonna start heading back. So I think we're just gonna head back, meet you back in the van, and show you where we're camping for tonight. Just, uh... You got it? Yeah. Thank I you. It. Half the forms are gone, so. Oh, oh that's really? not gonna be a problem. As long as they can charge us money, I don't think they'll be mad. <laughs> <laughs> we were pretty excited when we found out about this, but there is a watercraft inspection station in Banff National Park that also has overflow RV parking. And it's much, much cheaper than the real established campgrounds that have like hookups and showers and everything. This place just has garbage and pit toilets, which is more than we need anyway, but it costs $11.50 a night. That's as cheap as you could hope to get around here. It's incredible. We did find free camping, but it's a solid two hour drive from here. So being able to drive 15 minutes away from Lake Louise or 30 minutes from Banff and just get a site that's affordable has been a lifesaver. Home sweet home. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> We are not done with Lake Louise yet. It's actually been a couple of days to not bore you with a long and uninteresting story. Up until last night, we have not had a debit card. Um, and the thing that we wanna go do today requires cash. So we woke up early again, and Jimmy ran into a local gas station and got us some cash at an ATM. <laughs> got some cash. So the hike we're gonna be doing today is about three and a half miles each way, and we're gonna be hiking to a remote tea house. So there are two tea houses at Lake Louise that you can only access by hiking. One of them is at Lake Agnes, and the other one is a bit more remote, and that's the one that we're gonna be doing. And a bit of a fun twist, by a crazy coincidence, I actually have some family that is here in Banff vacationing. So they're gonna be joining us on the hike. Well, some of them are. So you're gonna to get to see my Aunt Anna and my younger cousin, Hunter. So the tea house opens at 9 a.m. and we're gonna try and be there right then. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how much of a crowd there will be because there's a pretty steep hike, which we're starting. The nice thing about that is we'll have a good chance to burn off our first breakfast just in time to get a second one. The cool thing about this tea house we're going to is that it is so remote and so far down this path that the waiters and waitresses that work here 
have to hike out for their shift. They stay for four days with no showers and no running water, and then they get three days off. So I'm hoping we show up on their first day because uh, we might have found people that shower less often than we do. <laughs> Our first glimpse of the tea house. It's not a moment too soon. It hasn't even opened yet and it's already kind of busy. Just four? Okay, perfect. You guys can head upstairs if you'd like. <laughs> Do you think we'll need their bear spray up here? <laughs> <laughs> I think I might try a masala chai. I usually don't like tea, so I don't know what I'm gonna get. I'll let you try a sip of mine. Well, I wanna get something. Oh. What should I get? Mm, I'm trying to think what you would like. <laughs> Maybe like a strawberry green tea. How are we doing? Hey. Hey, pretty good. Could I get a masala chai? So is it true you guys have like four day shifts up here? Yeah. Really? Yeah. How so is we, that? Um, it's fun. So we hike up like once a week and then we like stay in the cabins that are behind. So. Wow. Yeah. Cool. It's a cool job. <laughs> yeah. It's different for sure. Coffee. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they call this the chocolate loaf, but I think it's just a really good excuse to have cake for breakfast. Look at that. It's got icing on it. <laughs> you have someone that's jealous. <laughs> I am not sharing. <laughs> Can I try yours? Yeah, yeah. You want to try mine? Mine's yeah, yeah. it's not that spicy, honestly. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna be doing it. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> It's a little sad to leave. I know. I feel like we got really lucky. They seated us upstairs on the balcony. So we had like a really nice view of the mountains the whole time we were drinking our tea. This is definitely the most I've ever done for a cup of tea. I don't like tea, but still did it. But honestly, this might be my new favorite. I like the strawberry green tea I got. Yeah, maybe Jimmy's a tea guy now. Yeah, yeah, it didn't help that uh, Everyone upstairs was being pestered by two baby magpies that were just absolutely screaming the whole time. <laughs> we'll meet you there like after lunch or something. Okay. Shall we do that? Shall we do take this with us? Honestly, they were really entertaining. <laughs> All right, we're going to cut the video here. We're just going to walk down the mountain and go back to the van. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to stick around for next week when we explore something else. Maybe Jasper? Maybe Jasper. Bye. <laughs> All right, this is pretty, pretty too. <laughs> wow, bless you. My bad. <laughs> I was thinking we'd have a little s stacks, like five pancakes each. You should have told me that way earlier. I don't know, this is more fun. <laughs> I'm good. Very graceful. Do you think he's real? <laughs> he looks so beyond real. <laughs> if that's what bears look like, I think they would be like 80 times scarier. <laughs>